Welcome Back. to the last Tay Time podcast of the year. Woo. 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 Gosh, 2023 went Woo. by. Real quick. I don't think so, actually. Uh, you know, I was actually thinking it didn't go by at all. Like, I was, you know, when I, we'll get into it later on, but when we were trying to do what we're doing now, I was just like, wait a minute. I forgot about some things because I was like, damn, I feel like that was like last year. Like, so much happened this year, right? Yeah, you know? So, like, it's actually been kind of hard to stay, like, you know, like, be like, oh my God, what year are we in? Yeah. Like, what are we doing? I agree. Um, I think, but you know what? Do you know what my my mantra, mantra 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 whatever will continue to be for next year is we have so much time you've seen this in my vision board but like i think this year proved to me that we have so much time just because there's so much we can do and achieve in like just in a, a year, year. Yeah. and a year of your life is a really long time if you commit to whatever you want to commit to you know like a lot of you can completely transform your job the way you look uh career you, like so many things Damn, you can change dishing out to you guys the motivation it's not even new year's yeah she's dishing out to innovate <laughs> i mean it's perfect timing right yeah. it's like go with this go with this you have so much time you the new have year. so much time <clears throat> you do and it's true <clears throat> and it will reflect in today's topic of like what Rook has do. chosen but before we get started guys you're gonna see us in 4k now yes there's a lot as you can if you're watching you can port. see the macbook is now black space Ooh. black to be specific and some pretty stickers i had to hurt my wallet for you guys yeah don't get it twisted i didn't want this goddamn thing i got this thing because you guys want more do more and by you guys i mean her well 4k video and to edit 4k video you gotta have something that works a little better like my pc is good but it, it cries when i load <laughs> 4k videos on it yeah. so i had to go get this and obviously as well for portability you know like if you want to be doing podcasts on the road doing whatever wherever so like i can't be lifting my pc with me everywhere <laughs> so editing and editing so like and obviously it's gonna render stuff way faster we thank god uh like an hour render for 1080p took like an hour so mm -hmm. you can guess if i wanted to render 4k how long that would have been okay but don't I'm worry i'm extremely excited i'm extremely excited yeah yeah, yeah. I, even though I'm <laughs> I haven't even played with it enough but i know you dropped a good bit of cash 3099 euro 3099 but do you like my stickers Look at my stickers. You know, Chloe like and Nia stickers. brought them from Japan. So. Yeah. Well, no, these are my stickers. Are they yours? These are my stickers. I thought you I used the Jujutsu Kaisen one. She had the Sukuna. They oh. gave me a Sukuna one that I do have on, um, I think it's on yours. I put on yours. Yeah, I used one, yeah. yeah. I used it on yours. And then the other one, yeah, but these are my stickers. I Oh, yeah, because you've been keeping them since we were I've been Japan. waiting. Yeah. Because I knew I was going to do this. So I put my stickers. They're and like, I know, cool. Girl, your stickers will be used too. I, I wanted to do for like a little present and i made them go through all the way to the jump store and like try to look for jujitsu kaisen so it was like quite the adventure for yeah. them thanks girls really appreciate it thanks Rado. really appreciate it anyways and anyways the weekly stand up the weekly stand up please go ahead my weekly stand up is i went to truly for christmas not on my own free violation i had to go there because of certain people in my life yeah your godson's birthday yeah and because of you and because my family okay it was long my weekly stand up for the first time is just not a good one it it was long coming back oh my god like for some reason the drive back from chile this time just felt so long that's crazy because i said to you in the car that went by so fast and you said yeah it actually wasn't that bad yeah and now you're here no 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 like at the end it was good but at the very start like when i was on my ones and you were sleeping it felt long <laughs> and also when we were driving to truly it felt very long so yeah 
I don't know why this time it just, I think it's because things were just dark and gloomy and cloudy and whatever and rain. But like usually I'm used to driving back up and down to Chile in rain, like literally like for the longest time for like, I think over two years when I was driving to Chile, I mean for like a year and a half, when I was driving to Chile, I was never driving the, yeah. the sun. I was always driving at night or like, you know, in the rain. So it's only recently I started driving in the sun. And I think I took that for granted because, oh my God, I forgot how annoying it was to go in the dark and the gloom and whatever. So yeah, that sucked. Uh, but being down the street was nice. It was nice seeing everyone again. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. So that's, I guess, the good part of my weekly stand up. But yeah, I just said I feel you and all that. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> um, my weekly stand up is as like per usual related to tiktok i've seen oh you live your life on tiktok i do actually so it is what it is you have to deal with it um but i saw this TikTok of this guy saying that he's really bad at replying to messages to his friends messages right yeah and he will continue sending tiktoks while ignoring the messages and that (laughs) irked me that just like really irked me because i just can't fathom like not responding to someone especially because i'm on my phone like all the time. All the time. Really. You should see her screen time, guys. It's crazy. Um, but you know what the funniest thing is? Her screen time is probably like average in comparison to all of you guys because you're all yeah. crazy. I mean, like I spend a lot of time on my Kindle as well. So I feel like I'm dividing my time up Still screen time. a lot. But it is quite high, right? Mm. So I'm someone who replies like pretty much straight away. Yeah. Just because I... I Except for the random times even. I decide to message her, she seems to not reply quickly. But she replies quickly to everybody else. Mm, damn it. Interesting. Yeah, well, pick up the phone and call me if you want something from me um anyways i i just i just really like to and in the rare instance if i haven't replied to a message but i'm on tiktok and want to send them something i won't send it until i go and reply to their message first because like i don't want it to look bad like oh i'm that sending you a tiktok that is fair while i'm ignoring you that's just not fair yeah no i have a few friends who are very bad at replying to messages does it bother me. you no, I don't really care, to be honest, I because I know what to expect from them. I'm like, yeah, this person replies late, this person replies late, okay, whatever. Like, And it's funny because I'm the friend that replies like instantly. Like, if I don't reply instantly, the guys are like, what the fuck, what's going on? Are you, are you alive? She did. You know, like, you know, because I always reply instantly, but everyone else I know is very bad and they reply late. Like, there's only, a, I can literally count my hands, the amount of people I know that reply the same way I reply, like on time. I always reply to you straight away. I don't know about that one, Chief. I do. I don't think so. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. We what are we doing today? Are doing our top moments. We're doing Tay Time Wrapped. So Woo. everyone does Spotify Wrapped. Revolut does that. Everyone does it. Everyone like gives you a little breakdown of the year. And we're doing this thing. So it's not your breakdown of the year. It's our goddamn breakdown of the year. And what was important to us. So don't even be like, okay, listen, when we name things, don't be like, oh my God, but that wasn't 2023. It was 2023 to me. Yeah. It was my 2023, not yours. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Wait, you don't care about your year? <laughs> but also, but, obviously, comment to your own Yes, raps. obviously. We'll tell you at the end, you know, like, we're going <laughs> to, like, whatever stuff we list, you do your list too, you know, like, for all the categories. Engagement matters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please. So, yeah. Make sure no. the question on Spotify is share your whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway. we have, well, Farouk has decided to narrow it down to five categories. Five categories. So we'll name top three picks for each of the five categories. Yeah, and honorable mentions, because there is one category in particular for me I couldn't nail down to three. So <laughs> I, you guys can guess which one that was. But okay, <laughs> come on. Every other do you, one. Do you want to? Wanna... Should we start off? It's just yeah, yeah. straight off the bat. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to start with our top three Oh, my God, you have a shows. list? Um, yeah, I know it off the dome though, to be honest, but I just wanted to go. Are you an iPad? Order. You just want you should iPad. Go to iPad. I don't need an iPad. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the one with that. I don't need no good name in my iPad. Anyway, top three shows. I think if you guys have watched this podcast in this year, you should know which the three shows are. I'm not putting anything in particular order, by the way, because I couldn't rank them. They're can I guess? Huh? Oh, can you? Oh, yeah, go. Cool. Hold on. My top three shows. I can give you a hint if you want. Like, I don't think it's really a hint. It's kind of obvious. Because the top three were anime stuff. No, no, I know that. But the thing is, it might have, the number four or whatever, five possibly is not anime, but like top three shows, yeah. Do you know when those six stars are like, <coughs> there's not a single top behind her eyes? Yeah, that's, that's right now. me right now. She was like, can I guess? Because I think it's fun to guess, but I have no idea. Really? No idea. Like, did I've literally that? named all th- we've we have talked about all three on this podcast. Okay, uh Jujutsu Kaisen? Yes, yeah, season two of Jujutsu Kaisen. Yes. 
Um. Oh, Demon Slayer. No. Attack. That was a good season. Uh, yes, Attack of Titan. That's the, the final season. Thing. Yeah, the final season. Final season. And wait, I feel like I'm ruining it by guessing. You're meant okay, to. Okay, 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 okay. I know you guys can guess the third one after, but Jujutsu Kaisen season two has to be there. Without a doubt, it has to be there. Like anyone who knows, like that's on Jujutsu Kaisen TikTok or just just the, the manga has been amazing, but the anime has been spectacular this season. The season two has been spectacular. Like the whole season started out strong and was good, but Everyone has called it the notorious 10-episode run. The last 10 episodes of the season was just back-to-back-to-back-to-back greatness. Every time you thought the show couldn't be better, it got better. Every time you thought they couldn't outdo themselves, they outdid themselves. Yeah. You, It was just like you could watch all 10 episodes without like fully knowing what's going on and you're just like you would be like this is amazing tv like this is amazing tv and i'm obviously i'm not going to spoil any of the stuff we talk about but i'm just going to hype them up it is amazing like that it would have been crazy if it wasn't in your top three considering you put me through the whole jesus guys on universal studio oh yeah studios like thing. i was actually going to watch jesus guys over christmas so i could surprise you and be like oh i caught up but it wasn't on netflix yeah it's on crunchyroll and she doesn't have crunchyroll but well we have crunchyroll but potato potatoes anyway <laughs> It, the, this season has been ridiculous. Okay, okay, on to the next one. Ridiculous. And then Attack on Titan, obviously, the final season, final season, even though that was a breakup to like 100 billion t- parts, but we finally got the end of it. We finally saw it in visually, not from the manga, and it was, honestly, that last episode, the last two specials were amazing. They were amazing. Honestly, nothing, like, I don't know how I can, how Attack on Titan does it. Like, you know the story, you like because pretty much every all of us have read the manga like you know the story you know what's coming and it's still just freaking amazing and pulls out your like emotion it's amazing it's amazing every single second of it was amazing and then obviously the last one we have to give it to one of the goats greatest of all times one piece one piece oh, did amazing yeah. and the reason i said one piece is because not only did they do amazing with the anime this year with the wano arc and finally putting that to a close amazing we finally got the live action, and the live action did not disappoint. Some people will say it did, but I thought it didn't. And obviously, Nicoletta really enjoyed it. And a lot of other people I know who dabble in anime but don't really watch anime or don't even watch anime have all enjoyed the live action. Yeah. So it, I think it has to be in the, in the top three. It has to be in the top three. What is your top three? Oh, I don't have shows. Um, I don't have a list for shows. Honorable mentions, I guess, to One Piece was really good and my America Express, which I'm watching, but I don't think they were really like highlighted enough to make my five categories. Five categories, which is very fair. So I don't have shows, but I do have a book. Oh. I have um, my top three books of the year. And since I knew two of your animes, do you know at least one single book that made my top three? This one you just gave five out of five, isn't it? Which is? I don't know the name of the, of the book. I don't know the name of the of book. Of course you don't. Well, no, because I don't. <laughs> Do you even know what the story is about? Yes, that was the... Oh, ew, wait, no, that wasn't the journal one. That was... There wasn't a journal. No, the one with the with the journal. Oh, right, right, right. no. It that was that Colleen one. Hoover, no. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, It was the one... Oh. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, you guys can call him toxic in the comments <laughs> as many times as you want. Because he'll be listening, but he ain't listening. I'm listening. I literally remember the last two he's books. He's hearing, but he's not listening. I remember the last two books, but then that third book is escaping my mind. Because that was the third book away. That's the third book away. Anyways, um, I'm very picky with my books. I don't give like five out of five to like pretty much anything. There's only mm. two books this year that got five out of five. I knew five. that. For me. No, you didn't. I knew that you gave two books five out of five just two. Year. Do you know it was just two? I know it was just you. Okay. Because you showed me the list and you were like, oh, yeah, yeah. only two. Um, the first one was Long Shot by Kennedy to Ryan. Yes. I know that name. What's it about? I know that name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's about a basketball player. It's like really, 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 really slow paced book. But I just loved it. Like the story was just so beautiful and slow and like such a slow burn, relaxing book. I just really loved it. But I'm really particular with my books. I don't just like what's hyped Mm. and i find maybe people wouldn't like this but i loved it that's all that matters and and then the second book that farouk is thinks he knows what it's called and now that i'm gonna say he's gonna be like oh yeah the one with the number punk 57 (laughs) (laughs) honestly i remember the name now (laughs) after hearing it 
<laughs> by Penelope Douglas. This was like a really different kind of book that I read because the I read a lot of romance in case this wasn't clear. But um, it's a really different kind of book because the romance is like starts from a really young age where they're pen pals and they write each other letters um and i I just thought it was really really beautiful when they got to like know each other and meet in person and everything Mm. that was very very nice um and then the final book that i have on my list is all i've wanted all i've needed by a.e valdez i give this a four out of five not a five out of five um just because it was a really beautiful slow burn but i actually didn't like the beginning or the ending i just really liked the middle of it a lot and it made up for the rest for of it. the crappy beginning and ending. <laughs> so I, I just thought it was a really beautiful story. Um, so yeah, those are my top three books of the year so far. That was a pretty good list. And obviously, the goal of this is we are not going to spoil anything, yeah. and we're just going to tell you how we felt about it. And it's Skim up to past. you that if you're interested in any of these categories, to go and then go look it up yourself. And maybe yeah. we put you on. Like, put you on. Put you, put Don't forget to put you on. But obviously, also, there's five categories. Like, we only have so much time. So if you yeah. want a more in-depth analysis, obviously, we can make episodes on specifically shows, specific exactly. whatever. Exactly. So we don't want to. We don't want to keep you here all day. Yeah. We're being careful of your time. Anyway, for me, top games. This was actually really hard. Let me not lie, because there was actually a few on this list, but then I had to really put a little down. Okay, so let's just fire off the honorable mentions. Fortnite had to get honorable mention <laughs> just because they updated. They did the OG season and they updated, and, and they've now they have four games in one. Crazy. Um, Cyberpunk has to get an honorable mention simply for the fact that not only did I start playing it because of the edge runners which came out at the end of 2022 mm. but like it was amazing to finish at the end of last year and then they released the dlc which i'm going to get and it's just been i mean i've played a little bit this year and it's been amazing and then obviously the other honorable mention would have to be and i know it's gonna piss people off because it should be in the top three list but it's not is goes to Tsushima. Don't get me wrong. That game was fucking amazing. That game was amazing. That was amazing. It was amazing. I spent so much time playing that game this year. It was so good. But, but, the other three, that actually are the top three for me, obviously in no specific order, is I actually went on a spree of playing the Resident Evil remakes this year. I was, like all the remakes, I went through, I bought, because they're all cheap uh, on PlayStation Store, so I bought them all and just went through. And honestly, every single remake has been amazing. Every single remake of two, three, four, Amazing. And obviously, Resident Evil Village as well. I played that. Amazing. They've just been so good. They've just been so <laughs> enjoyable. They've just been so enjoyable. Like, the, like you would think, oh, it's just the same formula. It's not the same for- formula. It is, like, a little bit, but every game is just so enjoyable to play, right? And makes it good. Obviously, another one is Spider-Man 2. Mm, I, Shout I, out, I, Raul. I, yeah, very yeah. enjoyable to watch as well. Such a good game. I really want to play it. Such, such a good game. Such a good game. Uh, so amazing. The story's fun. The gameplay's fun. And it's pretty interesting because I didn't really enjoy the first one. But by playing this one, I actually went to, back to play the other ones because it was how, that's how much I enjoyed this Did you one. enjoy the first one then the second time you played around? Uh, I enjoyed it the second time I played around after playing the second one. And that's how good the second one. That speaks to how good the second one is. I made me change my mind. you know. And then obviously, Cult of the Lamb. Oh my God. Cult <laughs> yes, of the Lamb was the so good. I was hooked on that game. Like, and don't get me wrong, like this game has been on since like last year or whatever. Like, you know, I played a little bit last year, but like this year I just went in. I was just, you know, like, my cult was my cult. And you know why he called it? Yeah, cult. Because, because Nicoletta likes your cult to drink. Yeah. So I called my cult your cult. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, and then I haven't played it, but I do plan on playing it because everyone's going to be like, oh my God, but how about Baldur's Gate 3? Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate won so many awards. It looks like a fantastic What's game. What's that about? It's like a RPG, but Dungeons and Dragons type RPG. But it's like, you can do so much. It's amazing. And the PlayStation. Yeah, it's on PC, PlayStation, everything. It's super good. Like, I've looked at gameplay. I really want to get into it, but I know... Like, if I'm going to get into it, I'm going to have to put a lot, push a lot of games to the side. So I'm waiting for it to also go down in price. And then I will go and buy it and play it. And I know I'm going to love it because everyone else loved it. But that is my gaming categories. I Woo. hope you agree. If you don't agree, you have bad taste in video games. <laughs> Bye-bye. Um, I actually have a gaming category as well. Shock awe. Shut hurrah. <laughs> um, can you guess? And mine is in a particular order, so mine is one, two, three. Can you guess what made the, the top? Is list? this as 
You playing it or Backseat Gamer? No, me playing it. You playing it? Me playing it. Ooh, okay. The moving game? Or the organ re- or So that made the list, as a matter of fact, a little to the left. A little to the left. Made the list. Very enjoyable organization game. Um a cozy game, if you will. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that made the, that was the third. Okay. Uh, I think Odyssey has to be number one. Absolutely. Because we played Odyssey this Super year. Super Mario Odyssey um finally made it to my hands this year. And the amount of time that I invested in it, like was nuts like to the point that i made fruits um yeah she gave me stick drift (laughs) she put stick drift on my switch i had to get new new control joy cons because she put stick drift on my switch but i loved it i i loved it so much like it just kind of brought me back to when i was a child you Mm. know and i would like play it on my cousin's (laughs) nintendo switch and it was just like i never had one of my own so i was never able to play a full like super mario game and i'm not a fan of the the cart, the Super Mario cart. cart oh. I'm not a fan of that game. That's not. I'm not good at it, so I don't like it. But I like when I can just explore about and like do my own thing. And I think Odyssey was just, oh, it was just so beautiful. I loved it. I loved it so much. It's an old game. I'm fully aware. Yeah. But I loved it. It was it was beautiful for me. And I got Farouk to help me do some levels, so I really felt like a child. Like, <laughs> yeah, can you finish this? <laughs> um, and then um, it takes two was second on my list it was strong contender for the first and uh, because i thought is one of the most beautiful games i've ever played like, the story and is very good as well actually. it was beautiful we played it together and you know there's a lot of frustrating moments we finally finished it this year because we, we actually started it, it we yeah. started it at the end of last year but we finished it this year um and i just <laughs> i don't know it's just such a beautiful game such a beautiful game playing with two people i really would like in 2024 to do more like joint player games because i like to play but i feel like Farouk has the ps5 so he usually plays it and you know it's nice when we play together yeah 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 yeah, yeah those are my games Duh, come on give us another category now you i'll know. give us the next category um let's go for top three trips Ooh. Of the i year. think <coughs> we probably have the same ones we probably have the same ones like um do we okay i won't for the first one i won't go into too much detail because that's obviously part of my top three moments <laughs> what i'll talk about it from a trip sense japan was yeah. freaking amazing japan like this was our second time going to japan and honestly it was like japan is beautiful anyone who's been to japan knows like it's amazing it's just so much fun to yeah. go to it's such a beautiful place such a fun place such an amazing place is your and, list you know, like one two three like in order because then we can do one, one, two, two. Do you get me? Okay. Yeah, I, I'd have to put Japan on my uh, on my top one for sure. Yeah, I would have been side eyeing you if it wasn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. What was your top trip then? My top trip was Japan as well. It was our second time going, but this time we had more money. We had, to, we could do <laughs> more money. <laughs> like me. <laughs> I also had more money, obviously, but <laughs> everything was paid for. So all the money I needed was spending money. Nah. Like it's like you know when he pays for a three course meal, it must and be a nice. Michelin star restaurant, and you buy him a soda, <laughs> <laughs> or like a little crap off the side of the street. Um, yeah, Japan definitely made my. Oh no, my Japan was honestly amazing. Was it was like, beautiful. Like if you haven't already, go watch is our series is Destination Worth the Hype Japan. You'll hear all about why it's freaking amazing. You know, the second. My second one. This is actually pretty hard. Let me not lie, because it was between these. So these two could like are interchangeable okay. to me. Um, the second one actually had to be Afro Nation in Portugal. Okay. Just because of just how much fun it was, not only with you but with the whole crew. Like yeah. it was just so much fun. So like honestly, Afro Nation in Portugal had to be like. Once again, we talked about it. Go listen to the episode. It was fun. Yeah. Like it is just so much fun. Like, and the thing is, we went to the second affirmation ever, you know, and everyone always goes like, oh, it'll never be as good as the first one, it'll never be as good as the second one, you know? And don't get me wrong, like the affirmation itself was not as good. I want to say the same yeah, thing. Exactly. Yeah. But the overall experience our personal, our experience. personal experience was as good. I think yeah. we made the trip fun. Like if it was just comparing the uh, absolutely the, it was never as good as the second yeah. one right or it definitely probably wasn't even as good as the first one but it w- our experience was just so much fun and honestly I, I like it was just such a fun trip to have with like her and the whole crew it was just so much fun 
Well, what was it conjoined with? Or is that your third place? No, that's my second place. And then the third place, okay. I'll tell you. Okay. My second one was Romania on the list. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was such a massive highlight. I, I guess for me, because it's my country. So yeah. it's like going back to see it from like a really different lens of like exploring the country versus yeah. going to just see family. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it was just such a different perspective. And it, it just felt like, you know, like a, like a kid getting to live their dream yeah, and then Frick yeah. was driving us around and getting to like see the country and like become really appreciative of what it is because i just had a really not negative but like oh it's just romania whatever and despite it being the second time we i've been personally to sinai i was yeah. just different being there with you and um, because obviously my parents i'm so much fun Ha! Huh. because obviously i was with my parents and like that was that was nice and it was summertime but this was like more wintry cold um i just felt like it was such a beautiful trip and we got to do some like really fun stuff and it's just us two and I, I really enjoyed that yeah no which brings to my third point and as i said like number two and number three are interchangeable for me because romania was actually super cool i guess the reason it went to number three for me is because i didn't have as low expectations as she did because <laughs> i had high expectations and it met my expectations so like maybe if i had low expectations i would have met number two but mm. speak to your country folk people um yeah no romania was so much fun like it was honestly beautiful like the country was beautiful driving around seeing like Brasov, Sinaya, all these places like and seeing all the castles you know and just like being in Bucharest and like all these places it was honestly beautiful like it was so much fun it was really fun I like I and the thing is I always wanted to go because like even regardless of her like just because I'm anyone who knows me knows I'm really into like uh, the Castlevania series and that's made me really interested in like Dracula and all that and obviously because of that I'm obviously I was interested in Romania because I always wanted to see Dracula's castle so like this was like a really cool trip for me you know so I was like oh and I always had I was like I've always heard from other people like I know bear like black people and white people who have gone to Romania and be like oh it's so much fun or whatever whatever and so I had high expectations for it and I met it honestly like I like and I've seen like there's this uh, this black girl creator uh, mm -hmm. that on TikTok that goes a lot of it and she went there she said it's actually a really fun place as well like it's a it's a really fun place to go to you know and it, there's like things are like there's lots of things you wouldn't expect you you well, like you never think oh Romania stuff to do yeah you know but it, it there is stuff to do and it's also beautiful sightseeing mm -hmm. as well like you get the best of kind of like both worlds especially if you're in that area around that Bucharest you know all those area places so honestly would recommend yeah. And obviously, Sinaya, like you said, is like a must. Must, must. It's do. a must. Yeah. Um, for me, my third is your second. So Portugal made it to my third. My my third, but it, I won't lie, it's it's really close to Paris. Like I found it really Ooh. difficult. Ooh. Which you know, Paris is my one? number four. Yeah, yeah, like because I love Portugal. It was with my friends, and like you're with your friends, and like it was like so much fun. But I think Paris was just like. You know, I guess because um, it was Nandi's first time seeing Paris, so it was just like so much fun, like showing her around, and she was always she was so excited, yeah. and I just felt like we were a bit closer. Whereas in Portugal, you were like with your friends, I was my friends, and not that there's anything wrong with that, but yeah. like I just really enjoyed partying together all the yeah. time. Recess was very good. Recess was very good, but I, I would give it to Portugal as as my third like, top yeah. three. You know what it's at. <laughs> yeah, catch us, man. You know where to find us. <laughs> um, and the, the yacht and everything. Oh, it was just like, like I didn't experiences. Even, uh, go watch. Once again, <laughs> we're just pimping out our other episodes. Go watch the episode. The yacht was sick. Everything was sick. We had a good time. Yeah. And not oh. having to pay for much myself. I was like, oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. And may, long may continue. Yeah, but... uh. Yeah, no, so I guess we can go on to the, the next, next category. category. You want to start this one? No, come on. You want me to start? Okay, um, this is top three moments of the year, highlights. And I think we have a conjoined first one, if I'm not <laughs> She's like, if it's not, you are dying. <laughs> we are cutting this episode right now. You're dying. You're slaughtered. Uh, so, obviously, first for me is our engagement that was the biggest highlight it was the most beautiful thing i could have asked for we have a whole episode dedicated to just that and um, frug just really out <laughs> just really outdone himself like there's there's no other words i, I just felt so special and um, i felt so loved and cared for and it was just uh, oh oh yeah no duh 
it cost me so much money. <laughs> it has been number one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, it was super sick. It was super fun. It was really fun to do. Honestly, the proposal was like really sick because it was like once again, everyone was asking me, "It's like, oh, were you stressed? Were you?" Go-? I wasn't. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't stressed. But then, obviously, like if you guys watched the episode, you know, on the day, shit kind of got rocky a little bit. <laughs> and then the way it worked out perfectly in the end was just like, Oof. thank, thank God, thank God, you know. And then it's like, and it all worked out and everything. So like for to plan something for months and. I mean, once I was playing this thing for months, like with people across the world in different no time idea. zones, her not finding out the whole thing and it working out to fruition and everything working out perfectly. Like, come on. Like, and it's your proposal. Like, you can never, like, you never can forget that. Like, let alone, like, after you put in that much effort and for it to work out, nah, it, it definitely top, top one moments in my life. Like, it was sick. You know, like for everything to work out the way it did and like for everything to just happen, fall in place. The trip itself was sick. The proposal was sick. You know, everything. So, I like, it. It's like a highlight. It's an easy highlight. It was an easy dub. Easy dub. For sure. Come on. Um, the second moment that I have on my list is actually, I guess, a period of time, which was Ramadan for me. Ooh. Um, that was, like, such a key highlight moment for me in the year because it was the first time that i you took it, part yeah. in it um, and it was just very enlightening, enlightening. using the, the words you know i didn't even come to my head because i just standard every year bro yeah but obviously yeah, i like it was yeah. it was a highlight for me um and it, just the whole period as a whole it was just so nice to like get close to people around me and using the time to like cook new recipes and share that food with people that i care about and it was just it's just something that i don't think i'll ever forget like my first ramadan you know absolutely no that's pretty sick my second one was everything you're seeing right now find this goddamn house (laughs) find this goddamn house like (laughs) this was also and it's another one of those things of like when you've been planning something working towards it and then it finally works out you know like that feeling of success is just sick it's sick honestly and i'm like really it's happy because really, you never feel proud of yourself i know but still and i like like i'm just grateful you know like that i was able to do this thing i like whatever like whatever time i was able to do it like i'm great like it was long it was freaking so long like it tedious and you know funny enough i was actually talking to my dad there while i was back in Chile, and he was like you know about the uh, house buying process episode he said that like he said I, I actually didn't even give the full context of how like long and how hard it was you so know? You like, just, just, like, just, he's like I, he's like <laughs> I downplayed it and which is true like when I look back on it but like honestly it was long and tedious and hard and stuff and to have it like finally work out at the end I was very happy and very excited and everything so honestly like it has to be like top, Good job. it has to be top two come on I'm proud of you. light work thanks cheers I appreciate it guys <laughs> my third moment was moving homes <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think this house was a massive highlight of our year. Obviously, I have like pure joy and like I'm super happy and proud of you. And like that's all great and whatever. But also the moving process was like a huge highlight because for it gave me a lot of creative freedom and I was able to like, you know, help decorate the home. And I think if you can survive moving homes together in a relationship, <laughs> you're you're tight. You're tight because it's it's not only is the process of buying a home tedious but moving homes is really tedious yeah. there's a lot involved we did a lot of trips a lot of late <laughs> evenings a lot of mcdonald's, <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> we had mcdonald's uh, every day bro yeah actually looking at like my revolute thing i i, I spent <laughs> like 400 bucks on mcdonald's this year i'm sure and the, most of that was literally in the yeah and when we're moving house for sure 100 like, there's no mcdonald's for, near us like, here deep, guys deep like if you go to mcdonald's and like for two people like max is costing like 20 quid 400 yeah. euros a lot yeah and i had some too yeah can you imagine <laughs> like, like yeah. mcdonald's ate us up this year because that was really tedious um but yeah the whole like creative freedom that i got was like really really nice and highlight which i was able to then help my mom with because she was moving homes and that was just like super nice being able to do that and i'm not now i'm like oh, i could be a house decorator or whatever <laughs> skills so yeah that was that was my third moment and obviously, because we all know who cares about this podcast the most, <laughs> me, uh, the, it had to be just the podcast moves. That's what I had for my uh, third, which is just like, not just like 
the podcast as a whole, like one, like the new setup, two, like being invited to not only the creator program and YouTube, but also like Mm -hmm. Instagram, like invited to their events. I'm just like, I don't know, like, I feel like legitimizing a little bit more of the efforts that we have put into this thing, you know, like two, like two years of work, like honestly, it's not a joke, like, you know, like, and to have, see like little flickers of like yo like you know the effort you're putting in is like showing is like working out like it feels sick honestly like being invited to these things and going show up to those places like even though like it's like oh yeah it's not that big of a deal but like you know it's like Mm -hmm. it's super cool you know like and it it feels honestly amazing and to have you guys be way more interactive like to see our numbers go up obviously and to see like people engaging more and like they're listening like our listeners on spotify and everywhere else has increased it's not just been stagnant like you guys are actually listening to it and all that stuff it's not just about the clips it's super sick honestly and like i'm really grateful for that honestly i really appreciate all of you guys yeah no that's definitely an honor- honorable mention for me because i had an achievement category that i had to like go of mm. and, and i was like i'll just add it on the bottom of this one <laughs> <laughs> and now that it doesn't matter obviously <laughs> because it it really was a huge like move like yeah. the podcast made a huge like progress this year that like, you may see like a hundred over a hundred people had us as the for like top of the list yeah like, exactly the, like, po- that's top sick list podcast. Like. that's amazing like it's just i don't know it just puts things in perspective of like oh actually people like are listening yeah that was just crazy know, like people, we were in the top 10 for 900 people which yeah, is also exactly, crazy which is insane. like it's like people are actually listening to this podcast yeah so. no it feels it feels really crazy um and i'm obviously really grateful as well um for you guys so thank Love. you and on to the last category what we got i have top three purchases of the year Ooh, run through that list i want to so, try to hear what do you think my number one is i'm not looking at your list you're looking at my list i'm not looking at your list i'm gonna get a privacy screen from my ipad uh, <laughs> <laughs> um either like the house maybe i don't buy the house like like i mean like I don't know, like, you're involved in the process, so... Yeah, I paid know. for stuff around the house. But. Um, Purchasing. No, that's crazy. What? We literally talked about it. We literally talked about it? Yeah. What was it? My Kindle. The <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Kindle is just part of you. I don't even deep it, like... <laughs> it's an extension of my <laughs> like, I don't even deep it, like... You know, I feel like you had that Kindle for time now at this stage. I've like, only had it for six months. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Because she's always on it as well, like... Yeah. So, I guess the Kindle would be, yeah. like, number one. Because you abused this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think it's, like... <laughs> the reason it's on the top of my list is because, obviously, it's got me falling in love with reading again. Which is great. It's mm-hmm. been great for my brain. Uh, I've been reading Wattpad books just because I don't want to... I haven't wanted to pay for books. But I was like, you know what? I need more, like well-written books, books. about not by kids yeah. so i really really wanted a Teenagers. kindle whatever and Farouk said oh like you're not gonna use it you're not gonna use it and i'm like no like because she has a streak guys she has a streak of not using things no but i'm like no i love to read it'd be crazy to not use it you know so um also i said she could read on her phone yeah and i really wanted him to buy it but he didn't he made me buy it so i guess it's like a ha i told you moment it is a ha I because told you moment. i i i just love getting lost in that kindle to the point that Farouk was like you know it's probably not good to read <laughs> read that much i didn't say it's not a problem you did. you're like you should probably stop being on that kindle all the time i was like yeah you're like you know you have to do other things besides just reading. Yeah, focus on your ps5 <laughs> and shut up i don't even go on my ps5 as much as she goes on her kindle which is insane. that's true like you know, I think a lot of people think I go on my PS5 a lot. I actually don't. Like, where are there, I think you have phases. I have phases where, like, I'm into it. But then, yeah. like, after that, like, I'm done. Like, especially, like, most of the time. Just, I say for, like, most of the year, I'm not really into it like that. You know, it's, like, little bits Depends of on the, If there's a new yeah. game. Yeah, exactly. There's, like, whatever. If there's something I'm interested. Also, like, by the way. Like, when you were playing Spider-Man, you were Yeah, constantly. playing that. The iPad better be on that. I know you didn't buy it, but the iPad better be on that list. It's not on that because it's my purchases. <laughs> But I did want to say it as well because this has been like a huge change in my life. I told you. She was chasing out this iPad, iPad for so long, guys. For and, but so tell me it hasn't long. helped. Tell me it hasn't for helped. For so me. long. Tell me it hasn't so helped. Long. Tell me it hasn't helped. For so long. You can't say that because so I'm long. so organized. Okay. And what's, what's the next one? Uh, my next one is my nail kit. 
Uh, that has you've saved money on saved me a lot of money. Mm. I'm getting better. They're still on after a week. I'm getting more comfortable, you know, using gluing them it. on, using them, designing it, and I feel like I'm saving so much money. Um, it's very time consuming. Um, like it's a whole day process. Like if it's not the whole day, you're and only this gonna... whole corner here turns into her <laughs> laboratory, her <laughs> whole little like, tech nail salon. It's like you open up your you open up your sweatshop again. <laughs> yeah, like literally the whole corner shit just I like I should, half this not even the whole table is covered in her stuff. Yeah, just everywhere. Okay. This whole corner is taken for like two days. Like literally unusable. On I have to break my back on the <laughs> at the de- at the couch working working. You know, because she takes over this whole place. Like, goddamn. Anyways, what do you think the third one should be? I actually don't know now that you've said those two. Like, like. That's what I was thinking too. I this just came up as a random thing that I thought of, so I don't think it's that meaningful. But I put my Air Force Ones because put you on. I haven't had Pretty. like I Fruks had Air Force Ones for time. Everyone around my mom has had Air Everyone's Force Ones for had time. Air Force ones. But I was like. I don't want it. And then I, because I was wearing some dresses during summer and I was like, I need a shoe that I can wear with these dresses that's not like sneakery, but not like dress up y. I just need a nice shoe. And you're like, just get Air Force Ones. And I did. And I think they're really beautiful shoes. That makes sense. So I'm really happy. I'm very good. Do you have a last category? No. The, you don't? I put my last, actually, I was going to say something, but I was like, eh. But like I, I decided that I put the time for us to just talk to you guys about gratefulness of the podcast. Aww. You know, because like obviously, because I was gonna say something about like I was actually gonna do my, I was gonna do music. You know, because I was just like, I was like, man, I actually love music so much that it was actually kind of hard to do like a top three. Like it's just like you know, like I just yeah. put artists and stuff like that. Yeah. So I was just decided like, yo, you know what? I like the same way. Music has given me a lot every year. You guys have given me a lot. What's a key moment for you in this podcast this year? This year? Um, was it this year that we were invited to the YouTube thing? I think it I, was. Yeah, yeah, I think it's February. It has to be that, honestly, for me. Because I think being invited to the creator program, like the, and this isn't like the, you know, like the partnership. This is the creator, like in like shorts, just shorts, per, shorts thing. And it's super sick. I don't know. Just the fact that, like, I know we post on it. Like, Lily Nicola religiously every day posts on YouTube, schedules it, all stuff like that. And, like, the shorts. And I post the full videos on YouTube and so on and so forth. But, like, we only have a few, like, subscribers there. Like, Mm -hmm. not a few, a lot. Like, 2,000s a lot. You know? But, and, like, we have some good engagement. But, like, I was just, I was shocked. Like, I was honestly shocked when they, like, reached out to me. Like, oh. I was like, whoa, for real? You know? Like, that was... It was really, I don't know, it was crazy to me. Yeah. You know? And it was it was, it was definitely a real moment of like, yo, this is sick. <laughs> like, this is sick, you know? So, honestly, I think it has to be that. I think that's really the the, the top key moment for me this year. Yeah. In relation to the podcast. Um, I agree, actually. I think the YouTube shorts and invited to the Instagram. Um, Creators. like Creator meetup thing. Yeah. That was really good because... We're not known in Ireland. No. Okay. Our audience, you know where you're from. A lot of American, yeah, exactly. a big American audience, New York specifically. And um, to be invited felt like being recognized in Ireland because Yo. obviously Instagram knows who the top creators are in the country. Like who is generating views in this country? And they knew that it was us. They're like, you guys have hundreds of hours daily, Thousands. you know? Um so it just felt really nice to be there and meet other creators. You know, we saw Victor there, we For saw real. Billy Kiss there, and it was just like really nice. It's like, oh, we we're all on this in we're the same this boat. Together, the like same it felt really group. nice. So um, that was like super nice. I also liked that. For the first half of the year, we had a lot of guests on. We had Fiona, yeah. Daniel, Lakin. We had we had a lot of people on, and it was like super super nice. And that's something we really um, wanted to do as well. We really wanted to do 
more of but the reason it died down a lot is because the move of the house was, was a lot it was a long process a first long of all process. we were like recording with like our house looking messed up in the back couldn't have people in and then now we're living a little bit far yeah there's like things you have to consider so like that's why yeah. in case you were wondering that's why like the kind of the guest episode but like you know obviously for what we could do we did it like we, uh, yeah, we made sure we did it and i, I want to say shout out to every single who showed up and really we really, honestly really appreciate you guys showing up and like Honestly, like, I guess I'm going to close off now. It's like, shout out to you guys. Like, all this would not be possible without you. I hope you guys have had a wonderful year. I hope your next year is going to be even better. I hope you're going to get the most out of everything you want. I hope... The, I wish the best for the Tay Time people. I Tay wish... Team. The best. Part of the team. You know? And I want to give you guys all a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, whatever it is. You know? And I hope all of you have a great time, honestly, in 2024. And we just kill it. We just keep growing. We all keep doing yeah. better and better and better and better likewise i hope we grow together i hope you guys continue to send us really interesting stories for us to read and cover on the pod and i hope you continue to support us and uh, we love and appreciate y'all yeah don't forget to like subscribe comment and, and join this patreon you're <laughs> always gonna show the patreon till next time see you guys peace